dum dum da da dum dum da da dum dum da da dum dum da da dum oh yun dapat yung opening si Hello everybody and welcome to the Filipino Free Thinkers podcast that's also a video. I'm Red. I'm Frank. And today we're talking about a woman who had her own abortion filmed. And tell us about her, Frank. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember her name. But Emily Letts. Emily Letts uh, underwent an abortion because uh, it was, I understand, an unplanned pregnancy and she wasn't ready to, to raise a child. So she had an abortion, which a lot of women do around the world, and it, where it's legal in a lot of states. So the thing she did differently is that she filmed her abortion. She just wanted to show people what an abortion is like for this particular person, for her in particular. It's not going to be the same for everyone, but she just wanted there to be a video out there of a woman having an abortion, and that's what she did. Here's a link to the video. By the way, um, you could watch it. It's a short video. It's around three minutes. And we'll be back here if you want to uh, continue watching this podcast after watching the video. But anyway, um, a little bit of background on Emily Letts. She's a abortion counselor. So her job is to talk, wom- talk to women and explain to them what happens during the, the procedure. And I, I guess she explains to them that it's, um, it's, it won't harm her. Um, in ways that people probably uh, fear because um, abortion gets a uh, bad reputation. Uh, pretty much everywhere there are conservatives who are against the procedure and they'll tell you things like you won't get pregnant again if you have an abortion or you'll get depressed and might even commit suicide. You know, For some people that does happen but um, as Emily's uh, story has shown, it doesn't apply to everyone. Yeah, yeah, and what I think she shows is that for certain people, an abortion doesn't have to be so traumatic. I'm sure for a lot of people who would rather not have an abortion, but for, for other reasons, for example, health reasons, they have to go through it, that it could be traumatic in and, and other situations, for example. But the, she shows that there are situations where it's simply a removal of cells. It can be a mechanical procedure which does not have to be as traumatic as a lot of anti-abortion and anti-choice people make it out to be. So she shows like what she does when counseling um, people who have to go through abortions is basically what she showed everyone that it can be as simple as this if you go into it with the proper mindset. And in a lot of cases, the most dramatic part about having an abortion can be the anti-choice people outside the clinic who are harassing you. So an abortion doesn't have to be as uh, as dangerous or as as harmful to the woman as a lot of people make it out to be and it doesn't have to be something that people fear like it it is it can be a straightforward removal of cells like i mentioned and it can be a mechanical thing just uh it, it and it improves your life by not forcing you to go through a pregnancy that you're not ready for so let's talk about the reactions to this video of course, there are positive reactions to the video. A lot of uh, women's rights advocates have gone out and said that um, they needed something like that to show that not all abortions are as traumatic as they're made out to be. But of course, there are, like I mentioned, the conservatives, the pro-lifers, the anti-choicers, as they're um, more appropriately called. Yeah, appropriately called, who who said some mean things about uh, Emily Letts. And, yeah, you know, and it, it's to be expected. And even at websites, or even on websites where they're trying to portray what she did in a good light, and I see it as a good thing, people always find their way to these places and say the meanest things. They call it disgusting. They call it hor- a hor- horrible, even to the point of calling it satanic or something that's demonized, easily demonized. And all she did differently than a lot of people who, had, who go through abortions is she filmed it. She showed it to be something that's not so terrible for a lot of people. So, and what I think these people are doing, these people who who curse so much about what she did, is they don't like something like this seeing the light. They don't like people being given information about abortion that's not in a negative light. They want to say all the mean things about abortion, spread so many myths, tell so many horror stories about it, and that's all they want propagated in the internet. And what she did is she told a happy story. This is a good story that 
uh, I got pregnant. I didn't intend to, and I needed to to not be pregnant. And that's all she did. She just she handled the abortion as a matter of fact, and she showed the world how it's done. And that's all she did. And these these people who say the worst things about her, what well, all they're fighting against, besides abortions and besides choice, is giving information to people. I think that's a terrible thing. So anti-choicers tend to be anti-information as well, and this story is positive information about abortion. But a lot of them are sincere. The conservatives are sincere. And for people who think that abortion is murder, what Emily Letts did is basically film a murder. Yes. And if you, you put yourself in the shoes of these people who think that abortions are murders and what she did was essentially uh, like a snuff film, mm -hmm. then you'll start to understand where they're coming from. Uh, they think that uh, what, what Emily Letts did was satanic. And mm -hmm. when, when they read about or hear about the statements that Emily Letts made that, you know, every time she watches the video, she feels a lot better about yeah. doing it. Mm -hmm. So these people would be thinking, so she watches the video of her abortion again and again. Like how sadistic or how um, wrong is that? Mm -hmm. You know, and it does rub people, uh, you know, the wrong way. Yeah. Um, even the people who agree that abortion is a, a right, um, a lot of them think that Emily Letts went too far. Yeah, some people say she went beyond being pro-choice to being pro-abortion. It's when yeah. you derive some pleasure in seeing an abortion, and you derive some uh, pleasure, as other people see it, in a murder. Mm. Then that, to, to a lot of people, to some people, that might be crossing the line. Yeah. And, you know, the agenda that she has, you know, I'm, I'm you know, playing the devil's advocate mm -hmm. here again. Like, she, she's an abortion counselor. She's obviously um, pro-choice. She wants abortion to be, and to remain, as it is the case, a right for women. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if she had some guilt or if she had some doubts or fears about going through with the abortion, you could... You know, it could be understandable that she wouldn't voice those out if she had a particular goal, if she wanted to portray the positive side of the abortion. And, you know, um, one of the conservative articles I read, like, noted that in the video you could see her, you know, breathing heavily and, you know, she had a smile on her face, but mm -hmm. her, the rest of her body language said that she wasn't as com comfortable as she was. And it might have been a reaction to how abortion is usually portrayed so negatively. Like she, she thought that she should, you know, be the one to counter it, mm -hmm. to counter all the negativity and be as positive as she can be about abortions. So do you think that she went too far? I don't think she went too far. And an abortion is an abortion. It's illegal in our country, of course, but in a lot of places that are more progressive, then it's legal. And a lot of people go through the same thing. It might, she might be feeling some apprehension and going through an abortion, but it's not necessarily guilt. It doesn't have to be a negative feeling. It could simply be the fact that it's a medical procedure. And a lo lot of medical procedures make people nervous. Mm. So you could see in the video that she was humming sometimes. Yeah, and yeah. Maybe that could have, be see could have been seen as trying to keep herself calm. But I, I see it as a... Routine, not so routine, but with a number of abortions that are happening, it's all almost routine. Medical procedure that a lot of people, a lot of women have to go through and should be free to go through. And I think what she did, filming it, does not cross the line in any way. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's a normal procedure and it doesn't have to be harmful and filming it should not make any difference. So is there a slippery slope here? Will people watch the video and think, ha, huh, it's such a nice and um, positive experience that, you know, I'm just gonna have as much sex as I want without any fear of getting pregnant and if I need to get an abortion, then I'll have one like Emily Letts. I, and, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna be a slippery slope. I don't okay. think people are, with this one video, are gonna be under the impression that it's a simple thing. You can do it every other day or every time you get mm. pregnant. People don't want to get abortions. It is necessary in a lot of cases with unplanned pregnancies, but they don't want to get pregnant. So they will take the steps necessary, but in situations where it's unavoidable or by accident, some reason, there is always a failure rate no matter how small, then an abortion 
should be made available and all she did is show people that it can be as easy as this and what she did show people is that the option to not feel as guilty as um, conservatives want you to be is there yes and i don't think guilt should have any part of it it is you're making a decision for your well-being for the well-being of your children your future yeah. children for example guilt should have nothing to do with it and the people who are who are forcing you to feel guilty about it should feel bad about themselves. And, you know, I, I read about women who, when they don't feel guilty, they feel guilty about not feeling guilty, yeah, which, yeah. you know, just shows you the culture around surrounding this, this issue. And um, so let, let's, you know, test the limits here. Right. If what she did is not wrong, like, will it being a trend, uh, I mean, people like posting videos of themselves having abortions, if that becomes a trend, if that becomes a movement, you know, um, take a video of yourself having a, an abortion, positive or negative, you know, like mm -hmm. there might be, I don't know, some conservatives out there who want to capture negative and harrowing abortions beyond the, what they've already been showing, you know, the pictures of the, Dead of the embryos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, if that becomes a trend, you know, for pro-choicers, who, who want to support Emily Letts. Is that a bad thing? I don't think it's a bad thing. Uh, videos are basically information. And it's this free speech that the way, to, the way to progress in society is to have more free speech. So if someone says something bad, you just show the good side of it. And someone go, shouts an argument, you just show more arguments. Mm -hmm. So if someone... If Emily Letts, for example, um, she, what she did, she showed a positive video of an abortion and the anti-choice come out with a negative video of an abortion, which I'm sure happened. People don't want, uh, people go through abortions that are, that are traumatic, for example, or they, they failed or they actually damaged the woman, for example. A lot of those happen, especially in very, very um, illegal ways of uh, abortions. But... So people are going to show those, the anti-choice uh, anti are going to show those. And the way to counter that, again, is with more videos yeah. of the different kinds of abortions that happen. Because there's no, never just one, it's never two sides. Yeah. So yeah. just if it becomes a trend, people are going, to come up, are going to come up with videos of different kinds of abortions. And people will see just the, the variety of it. So, mm. And I think that's never a bad thing. I think it's a good thing to have more information out there. And I agree because, um, like you said, there are, it, you know, it's, a, it's a spectrum. It's yeah. not all positive. It's not all negative. And the Emily Letts video actually struck me as too positive. I yeah. mean, her body language, especially that, you know, those, those clips where she was in that dark place and she was just saying, I, want, I just want to share my story. It wasn't as positive. There was some apprehension there that I could sense. Mm -hmm. So... But it's, it's definitely um, a video that started a conversation and we want to keep this conversation going. Like we said, we're going to talk more about abortion. We don't have uh, an official position on the issue yet. So we'll be talking about it more, not in the next podcast, but, um, you know, um, on the website, on the, on the page, on the group. Um, just, just keep uh, participating. And if you have uh, comments on this video, just... Um, yeah, just, just let us know. And I think the best thing to do about abortion, whether you're a pro or anti, is to keep talking about it. That's how we choose a side. FF might not have an official stance on it, but what we do agree on is that we should not stop talking about things that matter. And abortion as an issue is something that matters a lot. Okay, and with that, um, thank you for listening to this uh, episode and see you next time. Bye.